Elsewhere, the West African Examination Council appeared before the Ogun State Election Petition Tribunal without tendering a copy of Governor Dakbo Abiodun's certificate. An official, Olufemi Olaleye, told the tribunal that he did not bring the requested certificate because Wayek does not keep duplicates of collected certificates. The Examination Council had earlier been asked by the tribunal to produce a copy of Dakbo Abiodun's 1978 Wayek certificate as attached to the form he filled with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Ladia Debutu, in a March 18 governorship election, had alleged that Abiodun forged his Wayak certificate. The petitioner further stated that he had written a letter to Wayak to verify the authenticity of the said examination certificate presented by Abiodun to INEC. We supreme, we supreme the staff of um, Wayak to come and tender the certificate of the governor. Surprisingly, when the man appeared, he told the court that Waek do not keep or do not have duplicate copies of certificates, which we think is very, very strange. He said it in open court and it's on record. So that is something that we all have to go back and start to look into. The second thing is two ad hoc staff of INEC came to court today and testified for the petitioners to support our allegations of disruption in various polling units in the good state. And we're happy. I think they are trying to prove that uh, the result submitted by the governor is not a correct result. But uh, they don't know what to ask for. But I can tell you straight away that we have enough evidence that the results are correct. But when they get what they want, or if they know what they ask for, then we need them at that stage. But for now, I think they're just shopping for evidence as to prove one or two of the allegations. Ad hoc staff, because they were unable to provide any letter of appointment uh, from INEC. But I won't say more than that because you know this is a case that is pending before the court. But they have the two that came as uh, who claim to be INEC ad hoc court staff were unable to provide in the court letter of appointment. But you know that's for the court to decide anyway. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.